What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is As the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Super Nintendo video game review for you in this spooky season. For this week's spooky review, I'll be taking a look at Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which was developed and published by Capcom, with a North American release date of November 28th, 1991. Now this game was actually also released on a whole bunch of other systems, but the Super Nint Nintendo port is an arcade port of the original Ghouls and Ghosts. This version would also later appear on the Wii U and Switch virtual libraries. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is a side-scrolling action platformer, but to be totally honest, don't be deceived, it's far more of a puzzle platformer than action platformer. Super Mario World, this game is not. The story for this game goes, Emperor Sardius has cast a spell on the entire kingdom, turning it into the Ghoul Realm, and he's captured the princess. Now it's up to you, the brave knight Arthur, to save the princess and cleanse the realm from Sardius' spell. Now first off, we need to get the elephant out of the room with this game, which is, this game's just brutal difficulty. On the basic setting, you get three lives, but you can put those up to, up to nine, but thankfully you do get unlimited continues. Next, since we were just talking about this game's difficulty, we'll touch on the controls. Right away, you'll notice that Arthur has this very strange stilted jump that takes a lot of getting used to. And to make matters worse, there's also an input delay to almost every single thing you do. Which just can make this game, at times, maddeningly difficult. To make things worse, there's also random slowdown that occurs throughout the game. The one way to minimize this game... In certain levels, there's hidden chests that you need to know where they are and to find them. If you don't know where these are, you're in for a struggle. Now, let's touch on where Super Ghouls and Ghosts really shines, which is its music and sound effects. The music for this game was developed by Capcom, so it's absolutely fantastic. No complaints here. And likewise, all the weapons for this game all have their own unique sound that they all have. So it definitely makes finding the weapon that you enjoy the most quite enjoyable, whether you're deciding to use the scythe, my personal favorite, the bow and arrow, or the lance, or the more high-powered lance. Or perhaps you prefer the one where you throw the fireballs on the ground. But again, to circle back around, this game is just absolutely difficult and brutal. No two ways, ifs, ands, or buts about it. But overall, it is a pretty enjoyable game. Now before we close out, I want to touch briefly on this game's music and pixel art, which I believe to be absolutely fantastic. Every single one of the levels feels unique, with some great sprite designs, enemy designs, and backgrounds. It feels perfect for this spooky season or time of year. So to close, is Super Ghouls and Ghosts worth picking up and adding to your collection today? Well, with a price charting price of $23.19, you certainly could do worse than this game. But just be forewarned, it's a real challenge. So if you're in for making yourself maybe be a bit of a glutton for punishment, then go ahead. Add this one to collection, play away, and see how far you can get and how far you can test your metal. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.